Hi. This week we are going to see another presidential debate. A couple weeks ago, my husband and I watched every hour of the other political debates and a couple of follow-up programs. At the end, my husband said, you know what? I think I'm going to vote for myself. I love that idea. I'm going to vote for me, too. But in my case, I think I have to officially join the circus. The presidential race, don't you think, is really just a big top circus parade. Sixteen, no, fifteen different candidates are riding elephants. Two or three other candidates are atop donkeys and a bunch of snake charmers, knife throwers, and tightrope walkers are analyzing the whole thing. What a hoot! I want to be part of it. So, I'm announcing today that I too am running for President of the United States. Here's what you need to know about me. I am like the other leading candidates in just one way. I too am eligible for Social Security. Hillary is 67. Bernie Sanders is 74. The Donald is 69. Joe Biden, if he runs, is 72. And I'm, well, let's just say I'm no longer hormonal. Based on those ages, Wisconsinites who said we needed a walker in the White House might literally have a point after all. But it's nice that folks who probably are too old to get a job at any local restaurant are considered qualified to be a world leader. Incidentally, like Donald Trump, I too can fill a stadium for my talks. I'll offer a t-shirt, a buffet, and 12 times points. In case you are curious, I am a natural blonde. Therefore, I am a truth teller in the hair department. Hillary, what color is your hair, really? And Donald? Exactly what is under your own blonde comb around? Your billions? By the way, I believe I will fit like a glove into Washington. As I have matured, I've become very good at misremembering. Sometimes I even misremember while going from one room to another. Email won't be an issue in my administration. I'm an in-person person. You want to talk to me or deliver a message? Knock on my door, bring me something chocolate, and come on in. Critics will describe my background as a lily white girl from the St. Louis suburbs, but folks, I recently danced the Macarena at a wedding. Vietnamese immigrants do my nails. I worked with a man named Mohammed in Chicago, and I love hummus. My brothers were in Indian guides, and my cousin wears Air Jordans. Believe me, I can relate to all people. I was never really a flower child, but my hobby now is a beautiful flower garden with birds, butterflies, and a few bees. I'm really sad about the diminishing bee population, aren't you? But I have not joined the group Hives Matter. I have, however, joined the Bee Party. If I attend all the meetings, I'm told, I can become a Bee Party Patriot. 
I am a Chicago Cubs fan and I have been known to play penny slot machines. Therefore, I am the real candidate of hope. Most of the time, I am a regular Republican, every morning like clockwork. I am an addict. Like many others in Las Vegas, I am a Monday night bootlegger junkie, and that won't change. In my administration, meetings will never be scheduled early on Tuesday mornings. And my inaugural gala will feature only Las Vegas talent. I have a pristine body, never defiled by a congressman, a pastor, a coach, or even a pierced ear. I wear clip earrings and can still find the stores that sell them. I have experience dealing with infighting and stubborn adversaries. I was elected to my HOA board not once, but twice. I married a Jewish man, therefore I have no problems in my personal life I am treated like a queen. I married a Jewish man, therefore I am thrifty once removed. I am with it when it comes to modern technology. I can Google. I do it sometimes when I'm all alone. Sometimes my husband and I Google together. Music helps. Speaking of music, Jojo Spaghetti Moretti, Kelly Clinton's alter ego, Kelly's a Las Vegas entertainer, she's my favorite trumpet player and my favorite song is If Not Now When by Bill Fain and Clinton's husband, what's his name? We have three dogs, two doggy doors, and I pick dog hair out of my Cheerios. I therefore know what it's like to live in a world where others sometimes make the rules. The bad news for our party's conservatives is that I'm a lapsed Presbyterian, but I still know right from wrong, which means sometimes I will agree with the Democrats. What's right is a woman's right to choose and everyone's right to a good education. And what's wrong is that Donnie and Marie still don't offer discounted tickets to locals. My petitions will be ready shortly. Please print your name on the petition if you are a doctor or a recent high school graduate who was never taught cursive writing. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate your support. P.S. I also know how to read a teleprompter.